Hey, what's going on guys? Nick from Practically Tactical. So today we're going to be looking at a really cool product from AR500 Armor. Uh, we're going to be looking at their AR500 Steel Plate, their lightweight level 3 plus body armor, as well as is the Urban Go Plate Carrier from Condor Outdoors. So, let's get to it. Let's start off by taking a look at the actual armor we have right here, and then I'm going to explain to you why I got this armor. So we have right here is we have AR500 or AR500 armor.com same company same website this is their lightweight level 3 plus steel plate body armor the amazing thing about this plate right here is it comes in at 5.5 pounds and the actual core so the actual steel plate inside is 0.21 inches thick so it's extremely thin and is extremely lightweight now this is the 10 by 12 plate right here with the advanced shooters cut as you can see here it is curved helps match the contour of your body and then this one has just the base packs encoded. Now, this would be the absolute minimum I would probably recommend somebody to order in regards to the features and options you can get on these. I can tell you that it, carrying in a plate carrier is not comfortable at all. The curve does help, but again, it's still not going to be comfortable. But at least get the curved. It does make a pretty big difference in just wearing it and, and being comfortable inside your plate carrier and on your body. Now you can get a, a thicker buildup of packs and coating, which for you know, if, for, if a bullet hits it and spalls and you know shrapnel, it'll, it has a better chance of catching all of it than just the base coat. However, the base coat does do a fantastic job, which we'll get into in a little bit. Now they also offer a trauma pad, so you can get some padding on the back as well for you know if a large round hits it and there's you know an indent. So instead of hitting your body, you at least got some padding there to help try to stop that impact and that energy you know hitting your body. So, but what I have right here is the minimum that I would recommend. Now you can also get increased sizes as well. So I think they offer an 11 or 12 by 14. Now those do go up in price a little bit and they do add weight. So keep that in mind. So it's lightweight and it's thin. What rounds does it stop? Well, I'm gonna read exactly what is on this plate here and I'm gonna show you guys some video as well. So what this is special threat tested at is 556 by 45, the M193. The 556 by 45 M855 and the SS109. Yes, the dreaded evil green tips. And it is also done for the 762 by 39, the AK47 round. All those rounds right there up to 3,000 feet per second. Now it is also rated for the 762 by 51, the M80 NATO round. So that is probably your most common rounds that you would run into, and this stop th stops these. So if you actually look up right over here, you can actually see a video from AR500's YouTube channel that they run of them testing this type of plate against different rounds. So you'll see that they're doing a 5.56 round here. They shoot a bunch of times from 12 feet and they give you the tests, you know, and they give you the data and the speeds. All these links will be down below as well. But they also test against the M80 round. They take their lightweight plate, they shoot it at 12 feet, and they shoot it four times. And this plate performed. Now they even take it a step farther, which I, which really kind of sold me, was they take the same exact plate that was shot four times, then they shoot it with a 300 Win Mag at 12 feet. So the same plate that has been shot four times, they shoot it with a 300 Win Mag and it stops the round. To me, for something this lightweight and obviously really thin, to stop those rounds is pretty darn impressive and it sells its product pretty darn good. But all of those features that I just talked about there of you know multiple hit and being lightweight and being thin, obviously those are great and those are one of the many, many reasons that I bought it. But I see, think something that's also important here is to mention the actual company itself. So uh, I went and did some digging. They have actually, again, if you go to their website or the YouTube channel, they put up videos there about their company and testing out all their armor. But something that was kind of really cool about them is they did, they did a frequently asked questions video. And then on there they kind of talked, they just answered their most common questions, but they talked about their company. And I really like that is there, it's actually a, a guy and a girl started the company and it's grown from there. It's a small business based out of Arizona. And I think the best thing about them is they do everything in house. So they order their steel in and then from there, everything is done in house. Nothing is shipped overseas and brought back and coded and shipped out or, you know, anything along the lines of that. Everything is done in house. So to me, that means a higher quality product. It's made in America, which I think is really important as well. But it, you know, having everything done in house really means you have that high quality. You have that those quality checks are in place because you're doing the work. 
you know, you can, any, this plate has been signed off in the back. It was inspected by. So I think that's really kind of cool. Now, I think that also probably plays into the shelf life of these is 20 years. So, I mean, that's pretty impressive to me. So, you know, kind of, it's, it's really important to support a local company, U.S. company, if you can. They do everything in-house. So to me, man, there's so many good reasons. The performance of this plate, the company, uh, to me, buying this plate is a no-brainer. Again, they start out at $110, and then, of course, you need two of them for a plate carrier. Uh, but it's definitely affordable, and it's something that, you know, it could save your life. Now, for those out there that may be looking at doing some firearms training and really taking it to the next level, if you do a shoot house class, you're going to need body armor as well as a ballistic helmet as well. So just food for thought there. But again, this is super lightweight, super high performance, and it's pretty budget friendly. So that's definitely one of the many reasons that I got this plate above and beyond, you know, it's cool to be operator. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the Urban Go from Condor Outdoors. What we have right here is the Urban Go plate carrier from Condor Outdoors that you can purchase from AR500.com. This starts out at $45, so it is definitely an economical plate carrier. So when you order it, you get what is seen right here, and then you actually get a few other things here. You get a pistol mag carrier, double, double rifle mag carrier pouch, and then of course you actually get a pistol holster right here. Now these are made and set up for Molly, so if you want to, you could run them on the front of the plate carrier itself. So to put the plates in here it is extremely simple. To put the front plate in, all you will do right here is open up the belt door, and you can insert your plate in. As you see, I have one in there right now. Put that in, Velcro it up, you're good to go. Again, this thing has more molly than you will probably ever need. And of course, it has Velcro up here to put on your, you know, super operator tactical patches. So on the back, again, there is more molly you can put on. Again, same type of system for putting in the carrier as well. Now the shoulder straps are actually extremely wide. They do actually have some foam, looks like some foam inserts for padding. And then there are Velcro adjustable, as you can see right here, for kind of like a ride height for adjusting it. Same on both sides. And then of course they have the quick, quick detach as well for, for some emergency medical situation or just taking it off if you want. You can take it off that way quick. Again, it also has a back strap here if you ever need to pull somebody out. Hopefully you wouldn't have to pull me for any, for any reason because I would be literally dead weight, literally. So I have a plate carrier on. Now the first thing I'll mention, in, in case this camera took 100 pounds off me, which I don't think it did, I'm a pretty big guy. This plate carrier fits me really, really well. In fact, I had to tighten it up a little bit for when it came and there's still way more room to tighten up. So if you're a bigger guy, or you know, you're gonna end up adding on you know, different accessories or side body armor, there's going to be plenty of room for you. Uh, it fits well, it carries the plate nice and well. I can tell you I have the 10 by 12 in here. It can definitely handle a larger plate. I would see no problem handi handling a ceramic plate as well. As plate carriers go, I think it's pretty comfortable. Again, it does have some padding here on the insides, and you can tell that with the channels put in there, it does aerate pretty darn good. Uh, again, I'm actually looking forward to running this. Initially, I, I thought it was really big when I saw it online, uh, mainly for right here on the sides, it kind of on the pictures, and when it sits flat, you know, this hangs out. But as you can see here, tucks in really nice right there. These straps right here have Velcro, you can just Velcro to the back. So it doesn't add any to me, now granted that might be a little hard. But it, it works really good so far. Again, I need to actually take it and use it, which, uh, you know, you might see something on this channel in regards to this, maybe later. Who knows? But uh, so yeah, the Urban Go from Condor Outdoors, you can buy from AR500.com. Again, starts out $45. That's pretty darn hard to beat for a plate carrier. So if, you know, if you're looking to get that budget carrier, you know, just something to carry the plates and maybe you have a war belt or, you know, you have different other mag stuff. Or again, it, this does come with a couple mag carriers. You can throw it on here and rock it and at least be starting out good to go. So something I thought I'll also demonstrate here would be with their advanced shooter's cut of how it is with a rifle. So if I want my actual in there, I can get it in there. There's not too much uh, interruption of getting it on there, on here. So if I'm gonna come up on there, right into my shoulder pocket. Now there is a, definitely a little bit of an interference there, but it's not bad. It's not something that I can't, you know, shoot in right there. 
So it does work pretty darn good. Um, obviously I have a smaller plate here, so if I had a little less here, I think it would be nice. But again, for $45, not too bad. So what we should also mention with the advanced shooter's cut here that quite can't quite be taken, plant, taken advantage of due to the carry, you can see where the plate is here, would be uh, drawing an actual pistol. So it would be a service pistol, concealed carry pistol, you know, war belt, whatever. So if I go to draw my pistol, there's no interruptions from this right here till I get out to right there. You can see it curves inward right there. But again, for $45, I think it's a pretty darn good value. Again, you may be seeing a review on this of it actually being used in some sort of you know shooting class. We'll see. But so there's a quick look at the AR500 Level 3 Plus lightweight body armor, and then the Urban Go Carrier, again, from AR500.com. So until next time, guys, be safe.